hi everyone. Um, I'm just recording a short video today to show you something I've been working on for the next version of Ignacio. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen me mention and post a couple of pictures around um, this thing I've been working on. And basically, what I've been trying to do is to um, automate kind of decompiling Android APK files, so or in other words, Android applications. Um, so you can analyze them uh, in Agnisio. So what normally happens is you can do this already obviously but it's kind of a very manual process um, and I, I did it a few times uh, and I decided I just wanted to make it automated. What I also wanted to do was you know I guess the reason I was trying to decompile them in the first place was to load them into Agnisio to analyze them. So I thought why not cut out those manual steps get Agnisio to do uh, the, the decompiling but also uh, the analysis that we, we can do in version 2 onwards. So what I have open here is just an Android emulator and uh, the reason I'm using an emulator is just it's a little bit easier for me. But I went to the market uh, marketplace earlier um, and I downloaded um, an application. So I downloaded the Pandora application. No particular reason you know for me picking that application it was just one that I picked and it's one that we're going to use here. So what we need to, to do first is use um, something called ADB which is the uh, Android debugging bridge and we're going to run a command um, just to, to grab um, the, the specific um, APK that we're looking for which in this case is the Pandora APK um, that will grab that for us and um, just take a few seconds and put that onto the desktop for us. So you can pull um, any APK file, any application here and do this analysis on, on any application. Like I said, I didn't really pick um, Pandora for any particular reason. It was just one that, one that I selected um, when I was looking at, at the market earlier. So you might or, or may not know, but in version 2 of Ignacio, um, we introduce this real kind of basic code analysis functionality and um, Dan Cornell from uh, the Denim, Denim Group uh, contributed some rules um, specifically for mobile applications um, and we're going to take advantage of those um, and use them on this uh, Android application. So firstly we, we browse to where the APK is and normally with Agnisio now. You click on a file here, um, whether it's like a Java file, a PHP file, um, it'll display the code over here and depending on if you set up any keywords for that language it will also fill in the other panels on the screen that you see here. But it's going to be slightly different with the APK. So we click scan uh, and we just get this message here telling us it's going to attempt to decompile the APK it might take a, a few minutes. Um, for some reason this machine I'm using here, this VM, is quite a bit slower at doing this than my development machine. So that will just take maybe a couple of minutes to, to, to complete. So what would normally happen is you would get the APK file and you would, you would kind of uh, open that up. And then there are a few manual steps you need to carry out after that. So for example there's a, a manifest file uh, in the APK. Um, and that has some potentially useful information for a code reviewer. So the first thing you need to do is use a tool like APK tool to put that into a, a readable format because you know, when you first uh, unpack the APK it isn't really in a human readable format so you use something to put that into a, a you know, useful format for us. Then you have to use other tools like um, DEX to JAR to take the, the DEX format of the language and you know put that into a JAR file format then you need to you know um, use like a WinZip or WinRAR or whatever zip utility you want to uh, open up that JAR and then there's a classes.dex file which you also need to do something on and to you know cut a long story short you have a few different manual steps to go through to end up with the class files for this application and from there you need to take those class files and use uh, whatever uh, Java decompiler you want to use and then turn that into Java code which conveniently Agnisio has just done for us. So you see um, that it changed 
the, the content of the tree over here. And it's pointing to a temporary directory, which is actually um, a directory created uh, for the, in this case, Pandora APK, where it is, has done all of those manual steps for us. And if we just expand this out, you'll see that you'll have the, the class files that were there, but also the, the decompiled version of them. So if we pick one here and pick the Java rules, which are mainly Android rules at the moment, and click scan. If we can find one that has something um, that's highlighted, I think this is one here. So sort of you can see here that this is being highlighted. If we click on this, it fills in these fields for us with more information that Dan Cornell provided, and then relevant checklist items associated with that finding in that piece of code. So I hope you found this a little bit useful, and hopefully you'll be able to see that if you if you analyze Android applications with Agnisio uh, version 2.1 when it's released, it should be um, a lot easier and a lot quicker than manually reviewing them. Thank you for watching.